Hello my friends and welcome back to the You Can Do TV channel. In this video we will explore the machinery, heavy duty equipment and modern technology in steel mills. In addition, we will analyze some accident situations during the steel making process. In this section, we will visit ArcelorMittal Poland Steel Mill. It is a leading player in the global steel industry, is a fully integrated steel company that oversees every aspect of the steel making process, from mining raw materials to delivering finished products. The steelmaking process at here begins with the extraction of iron and coal from their own mines. After that ore pellets are sent to the sinter plant. Here, these pellets are transformed into sinter, a porous material with improved properties for the subsequent stages of production. Simultaneously, coal is directed to the coke oven, where it undergoes a vital transformation into coke. This process involves the removal of gas impurities from coal, making it a suitable and efficient fuel for the blast furnace. Blast Furnace. The next destination for the materials is the Blast Furnace. At this stage, a mixture of sinter and coke is introduced into the furnace. The Blast Furnace is an imposing structure that operates at extremely high temperatures, reaching approximately 2000 degrees Celsius. Inside this furnace, coke combustion plays a pivotal role by providing the necessary heat to melt and reduce iron ore. The outcome of this process is hot metal a primary component of steel production. Converters. The hot metal obtained from the blast furnace is then transported via specially designed torpedo ladles to the steel shop. Here, in basic oxygen converters, the transformation from hot metal into steel occurs. The utilization of ladles in this process accelerates production and reduces the temperature decrease of the steel, which, in turn, limits the need for additional heating. This streamlined approach not only enhances efficiency but also reduces energy consumption and minimizes the ecological footprint of the production process. Continuous casting. Once the steel is produced in the converters, it is transported in ladles to the casting department. At this stage, the steel undergoes continuous casting, a crucial step that yields semi-finished products such as billets, blooms, and slabs. Continuous casting ensures the formation of high-quality semi-products that serve as the foundation for the final steel products.
rolling. The final leg of the steel production journey involves the transformation of semi-products into the finished steel products that we use in various applications. This transformation is achieved through both hot and cold rolling processes. Hot rolling is employed to shape the steel at elevated temperatures, whereas cold rolling refines the steel's properties at lower temperatures. These processes result in steel products with the desired dimensions, surface finish, and mechanical properties. Additional processing. In addition to rolling, ArcelorMittal Poland offers additional processing methods for flat steel products. One such method is hot dip galvanizing, a process where steel is coated with a layer of zinc to enhance its corrosion resistance. This is particularly important for products exposed to harsh environmental conditions. Another method is organic coating, which involves applying organic materials to the steel surface. This coating not only provides protection but also opens up opportunities for customization, as it can come in various colors and textures. This versatility makes organic coated steel a popular choice for architectural and design applications. Structural steel shapes are another essential component of the mill's product range. These shapes, including W-shaped, C-shaped, and L-shaped profiles, are manufactured by cutting steel slabs into square pieces, reheating them, and then rolling them into various structural shapes. Behind the steel production process lies a complex system of support services, including the production of industrial gases, electric power generation, water treatment, and maintenance shops. These services ensure the smooth operation of the steelmaking facilities. The Olanvo Grizzly Ladle is a tool designed to handle the intense heat and abrasiveness of slag in iron and steel plants. Crafted with precision and durability in mind, these ladles are essential equipment for the demanding tasks of loading, unloading, moving, and collecting hot slag in the steel and metallurgical industry. At the core of the Grizzly Ladle's design is its use of hardox steel, renowned for its exceptional wear resistance. This ensures that the ladle can withstand the harsh operating conditions and maintain longevity even when exposed to high temperatures and abrasive materials. Additionally, the inclusion of extra stiffeners reinforces the structural integrity of the ladle, allowing it to excel under heavy loads, providing reliability when it's needed most. The hot slag loading ladle is a popularly component in the operations of steel and metallurgical enterprises. Typically mounted on a front-end loader, it helps workers to efficiently manage blast furnace and steel slag. Its robust construction allows for a range of tasks, from loosening and moving slag to loading and unloading materials. One of the most remarkable features of the Grizzly Ladle is its exceptional heat and wear resistance. 
It achieves this by incorporating additional protective measures for critical structural elements that are subjected to intense thermal and abrasive forces. This ensures that the ladle remains in optimal condition, minimizing downtime and maintenance costs while maximizing productivity. An arc furnace is a powerful and versatile industrial machine used for melting and refining metals through the application of intense heat generated by an electric arc. Its operation revolves around the fundamental principles of electricity and heat transfer. At the heart of an arc furnace is a refractory lined vessel, typically made of materials like graphite or silicon carbide, designed to withstand extreme temperatures. The process begins with the loading of raw materials, such as scrap metal, into the furnace. Large carbon electrodes are then positioned above the material. When an electrical current is introduced between the electrodes, it creates a high-voltage electric arc. This arc generates temperatures exceeding 3000 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit, at its core causing the raw materials to melt and become molten metal. The intense heat also helps to remove impurities, making it a popular choice for recycling and refining scrap metal. The control of the arc's intensity, duration, and positioning is critical to achieving the desired metal composition and quality. Arc furnaces are commonly used in the steel industry and for producing various alloys, offering a cost-effective and energy-efficient method for metal melting and purification. EAF Explosion An electric oven's violent reaction electric arc furnaces, EAFs, widely used in steel production, can pose serious hazards if mishandled. Surveillance cameras have documented EAF explosions, shedding light on the perilous nature of these incidents. In these recordings, a normal EAF operation suddenly escalates into a catastrophic event. Initially, there's an intense surge of energy above the slag, manifesting as sparks and intense illumination. Subsequently, a powerful explosion tears through the furnace, ejecting debris and molten metal in all directions. The sheer force of such an explosion is alarming, often resulting in severe injuries or even fatalities. Statistics reveal the gravity of the issue. EAF explosions have caused numerous fatalities and hundreds of injuries worldwide. The financial toll is also substantial, with property damage reaching millions of dollars. These incidents stem from a variety of causes, ranging from equipment malfunctions to human errors, underscoring the crucial need for stringent safety measures and continuous workforce training in the steel industry. Aluminum smelter overhead crane accident. A molten mishap in the realm of aluminum smelting, even routine tasks can turn perilous if safety precautions are ignored. One such incident occurred during an operation involving an overhead crane. The task at hand was moving a ladle containing molten aluminum and securely placing it in a fixed position. However, a critical oversight occurred when the operator failed to notice that the crane hook remained attached to the ladle's handle. In an instant, disaster unfolded as the crane moved away, dragging the ladle with it. The consequences were dire. Molten aluminum spilled, causing severe burns and injuries. The operator's frantic efforts to regain control of the crane were in vain. Such accidents are not only traumatic but can also lead to fatalities, depending on the severity of the situation.
The alarming reality is that similar incidents continue to occur in aluminum smelting facilities worldwide. This underscores the utmost importance of rigorous safety protocols, constant vigilance, and comprehensive operator training to prevent such catastrophic accidents. Foundry workers' critical error in the field of metalworking, seemingly minor errors can have grave consequences. One such mistake is the introduction of wet scrap metal into a furnace. When wet scrap metal is placed into a furnace, it triggers an explosive reaction. The moisture within the metal rapidly vaporizes, leading to a violent eruption of steam and metal fragments. This process not only damages equipment but also endangers lives. To avert such severe mistakes, foundry workers must undergo proper training and strictly adhere to safety guidelines that expressly forbid introducing wet materials into furnaces. Technikuro's Multimover M700 is an exceptional logistics system designed specifically to tackle the demanding transportation requirements within steelworks and metallurgical plants. This high-performance device efficiently handles a wide array of tasks, including transporting scrap baskets, pig iron, steel pans, slabs, billets, and various semi-finished products like sheets, profiles, and coils. In comparison to traditional logistics systems such as trucks or truck trailers, the Multimover M700 shines in terms of handling large transport loads and delivering high maneuverability. Trucks and trailers often struggle with the wear and tear associated with heavy loads, and their limited maneuverability hinders efficient operations. Moreover, they require a higher number of devices and personnel on duty, resulting in elevated investment and operational costs. The Multimover M700 offers a flexible, cost-effective alternative. It boasts small turning radii, a compact design, and impressive performance capabilities. Its platform accommodates substantial loads, making optimal use of crane capacities. With a spacious chassis and robust longitudinal beams, it excels at handling goods on pallets. The Multimover Y550, developed by Techni Caro for the ThyssenKrupp AG Steelworks in Brazil, is a groundbreaking innovation in the field of material handling within the steel industry. This mobile, rubber-tired storage and handling crane was specifically designed to address the unique challenges faced in transporting liquid pig iron from the blast furnace to the steelworks. The Multimover Y550 is one of a series of mobile gantry cranes with impressive load capacities ranging from 300 to 550 tons. With dimensions of 14,685 mm in length, 20,300 mm in width, and 18,600 mm in height, this crane boasts a maximum payload capacity of a staggering 550,000 kg. Its ability to handle such massive loads is vital for the steel manufacturing process. What sets the Multimover Y550 apart is its mobility and versatility. It is equipped with rubber tires, making it capable of moving efficiently on different terrains, including swampy soil conditions that pose challenges for rail-bound systems. This adaptability eliminates the need for costly track systems, reducing both initial investment and operating expenses for ThyssenKrupp. The Slag Taurus is an advanced heavy-duty transporter meticulously designed to cater to the specific needs of the slag industry, where the safe and efficient transportation of slag generated during steel production is paramount. This versatile equipment comes in two primary designs, the platform, P, and U-frame, U, each tailored to different operational conditions and payload requirements. Functionally, the slag torus operates by hoisting slag pots, typically weighing between 40,000 kg to 160,000 kg, using a robust hydraulic system coupled with a powerful prime mover, such as the Kuro KT series. These slag pots are then transported from the production area to the slag processing zone while ensuring utmost safety and efficiency throughout the process. Key features of the Slag Taurus include its flexible steering system, capable of achieving steering angles of up to plus or minus 90 degrees, facilitating outstanding maneuverability even in confined spaces. Depending on the model, 
the equipment may be equipped with super elastic or industrial tires on the rear axle to suit various terrains and conditions. Safety is paramount in slag transport, and the slag Taurus incorporates a range of safety systems. The Kuro Integrated Safety System, KISS, continuously monitors all carrier functions, preventing malfunctions and accidents. It includes load indicators and emergency escape functions. Protective measures, such as covers to shield components from heat and slag splashes, further enhance durability. The Brock machine operates as a remote-controlled demolition robot, primarily used for cleaning ladle mouths and various tasks in the metal processing industry. Its core mechanism combines a compact design with power to deliver efficient performance. Remote control. The Brock machine is operated remotely, allowing a safe working distance between the operator and the task area. This remote control ensures operator safety and provides an optimal view of the work being performed. Compact design. Its small size enables access to confined or hard-to-reach spaces within industrial plants, where larger machines cannot fit. This design feature is crucial for tasks like ladle mouth cleaning. Heat resistance. The machine is designed to withstand high temperature environments commonly found in metal processing plants. This heat resistance feature enables it to start work early, reducing downtime. Three-part arm system. The Brock machine is equipped with a robust three-part arm system. This system allows for exceptional reach, stability, and power in all directions, making it versatile for a wide range of applications. Tool compatibility. The machine can accommodate various powerful tools that are attached to its arm system. These tools are specifically designed for tasks such as slag and refractory material removal. Durability. The Brock machine is known for its durability and ability to perform demanding tasks without sustaining damage. This durability ensures its longevity in challenging industrial settings. Slag pot carriers are specialized machines designed to handle the demanding task of transporting and managing molten slag in heavy industrial settings, particularly in steel mills and metal foundries. These robust machines follow a precise operational sequence to ensure safe and efficient handling of slag pots, which can weigh several tons and contain extremely hot molten slag, typically around 1,600 degrees Celsius, 2,912 degrees Fahrenheit. Pot Pickup The process begins as the slag pot carrier approaches a slag pot filled with molten slag. These pots can weigh from 35 to 250 tons, depending on the carrier's capacity. Secure Attachment. The carrier's hydraulically operated lifting mechanism securely grips the pot's lifting lugs. The precise design and engineering of these mechanisms ensure a safe and stable attachment. Lifting and Transport. With the slag pot securely attached, the carrier's powerful hydraulic system smoothly raises the pot off the ground. The machine can transport these heavy loads with capacities ranging from 35 to 250 tons. Maneuverability. Slag pot carriers are equipped with articulated steering systems that allow them to navigate through tight spaces and around obstacles with precision. They can make 180-degree turns to navigate confined areas within industrial facilities. Precise placement. The carrier carefully positions the slag pot at the designated dumping or storage area. Some models feature hydraulic tilting mechanisms that can tilt the pot to precise angles for controlled pouring. 
Pot dumping. In the dumping process, the carrier's hydraulic system tilts the slag pot to allow the molten slag to flow out. This controlled pouring minimizes spillage and ensures safe and accurate slag disposal. Pot return. After the pot is empty, the slag pot carrier can return it to its original location for refilling or transport it to another location to pick up another full slag pot. These machines significantly enhance operational efficiency by reducing manual labor, improving safety, and optimizing the management of molten slag, a hazardous byproduct of metal production. Their customizable features and impressive lifting capacities make them indispensable tools in heavy industrial applications. Slag unloading is a crucial process in the metallurgical and mining industry, where waste materials, often referred to as slag, need to be efficiently removed from various types of wagons and processing plants. One such example is the Cardamir steel plant, where wagons carrying slag need meticulous unloading procedures to ensure smooth operations. In the broader context of metallurgy and mining, slag management is critical not only for environmental reasons but also for economic and operational efficiency. Properly executed slag unloading and drainage processes are essential in minimizing waste, ensuring workplace safety, and reducing the ecological footprint of these industrial facilities. At the Norilska nickel copper plant, the disposal of slag is a significant aspect of the production process. Copper production generates a substantial amount of slag, which must be drained effectively to prevent environmental pollution and maintain the overall efficiency of the plant. The process involves carefully managing the flow of molten slag into designated drainage channels, where it cools and solidifies for eventual disposal. The Fractum Model 100 is an innovative solution for slag pot disculling and breaking red-hot skulls in the steel industry. This technology has revolutionized operations by providing precision and control. Slag pot desculling is a common challenge in steelworks, where skulls often get stuck in the pots. The Fractum Model 100 allows operators to tackle this issue with precision. It offers adjustable energy settings in 5% increments, ensuring that the right amount of force is applied to remove skulls without damaging the pot. With its variable energy design, the Model 100 can efficiently and effectively knock out skulls from slag pots while maintaining a high success rate. Some customers have been using this technology for over two decades, attesting to its durability and reliability. Additionally, the Fractum Model 100 eliminates the need for traditional drop balls, saving both time and money. Its impressive energy delivery, up to 300,000 joules per stroke, far surpasses hydraulic breakers on the market making it a powerful and efficient choice for slag pot desculling and skull breaking. Each year, approximately 400 million tons of glass furnace slag are extracted worldwide. Unfortunately, the majority of this slag is either disposed of or rapidly quenched with water to create granulated products suitable for use as clinker substitutes in the cement industry. However, this process results in the dissipation of the valuable heat energy contained within the molten slag, representing a significant waste of energy. Maximizing energy efficiency has become a crucial concern within the iron and steel industry. One pivotal stride towards achieving enhanced energy efficiency involves harnessing the latent energy within the molten blast furnace slag through a dry-type slag granulation process. Molten slag, with a temperature of 1450 degrees Celsius, is tapped from one of three blast furnace tap holes and directed through a slag runner into a granulator at an average rate of one ton per minute. The slag is then released onto a rapidly rotating disc, where it is rapidly cooled by an ascending airstream. The resulting granulated slag product descends to the bottom of the vessel, where it is collected. Remarkably, the cooling air emerging from the vessel attains temperatures suitable for generating superheated steam for various applications within the steelworks, including electricity generation. Consequently, a substantial portion of the energy inherent in the molten slag is recuperated in the form of steam. 
These investigations remain ongoing, and the preliminary results are exceptionally promising, hinting at the eventual commercial viability of the process. Key advantages of this innovative approach include the production of granulated slag tailored for the cement industry, an ingenious air cooling principle, efficient heat recovery, absence of sulfur or steam emissions, considerable water conservation, reduced water pollution, lower overall production costs, diminished CO2 emissions, and a compact plant layout with minimal space requirements. The Schlag Taurus is a specialized piece of equipment designed for transporting slag at steelworks. It plays a crucial role in the steelmaking process, ensuring efficient and safe removal of slag, a byproduct of steel production. Here's an overview of the manufacturing process and key features of the Schlag Taurus. In the production plant in Leipzig, Germany, the manufacturing process starts with the assembly of prefabricated components and assemblies. These include hydraulic cylinders, axles, and other essential parts. These components are integrated into a robust steel frame that forms the foundation for the entire system. The Schlag Taurus is equipped with a specially designed drive system, ensuring continuous operation around the clock in three eight-hour shifts. The components in the drive system are carefully selected for optimal efficiency and low operating costs. High-quality components, including those from well-known manufacturers like Cummins and Caterpillar, are used to power the system. Safety is of paramount importance in the manufacturing and operation of the Schlag Taurus. The braking system is designed with three independent, fully hydraulic brake circuits, providing unparalleled safety. A patented support system protects hydraulic cylinders from heat and slag splashes, enhancing operational safety. Articulated steering with angles of up to 90 degrees in both directions ensures excellent maneuverability. The slag potholder can be lined with special fireproof concrete, and the system offers a range of optional extras to suit specific needs. Different tipping systems are available to maximize flexibility and efficiency in loading and unloading. The operator's cabin is designed for maximum visibility and comfort. The layout of instruments and controls is ergonomic, and all vehicle functions are centrally monitored. The cabin includes safety features such as large hinged louvered observation windows, providing protection from slag splashing and intense heat. The Schlag Taurus is equipped with the Kirov Integrated Safety System, KISS, which enhances safety and prevents malfunctions. Additionally, fully automatic fire extinguishing systems can be installed to further enhance safety measures. The Quantum Electric Arc Furnace, EAF, represents a cutting-edge technology in the realm of steelmaking. Installed at Tayasa's new mini-mall melt shop in Ixtoxiquitlan, Mexico. This remarkable furnace with a tapping weight of 100 metric tons, supplied by Primetals Technologies, is at the forefront of modern steel production. Here's how the Quantum EAF works. Charging materials. The steel making process begins with the loading of raw materials into the furnace. These materials typically include scrap steel, iron ore, and other additives. The choice of materials depends on the desired steel composition and grade. Scrap preheating. One of the key features of the Quantum EAF is its efficient scrap preheating system. The furnace is designed to preheat scrap steel to high temperatures using the energy-efficient recovery of heat. This process minimizes energy consumption and ensures that the scrap enters the furnace at an optimal temperature for melting. Melting. Once the materials are preheated, they are charged into the furnace. The Quantum EAF employs an optimized preheating and melting concept, which enhances efficiency. The furnace chamber is designed with a trapezoidal shaft and a redesigned retaining system, ensuring an optimal allocation of scrap and improved off-gas routing for efficient heat transfer. Electric arc. Inside the furnace, an electric arc is generated to provide the intense heat required for melting the materials. This arc is created between the graphite electrodes and the charge materials. The energy input is carefully controlled to achieve the desired temperature for melting. Furnace operation. As the materials melt, they form a liquid pool at the bottom of the furnace, known as the bath. The Quantum EAF is designed for pure flat bath operation, minimizing disruptions and flicker. This stable operation is crucial for maintaining product quality. 
Tap to tap time. The Quantum EAF is known for its exceptional productivity. It achieves extremely short tap to tap times, meaning that the furnace can be tapped and refilled with fresh materials rapidly. This quick turnaround time boosts overall productivity, allowing for more steel production in less time. Secondary steelmaking. In addition to the primary melting process, the quantum EAF is often integrated with secondary steelmaking facilities. These facilities allow for further refinement of the steel's composition, ensuring it meets the desired specifications. Secondary processes may include refining, degassing, and alloying. Environmental compliance. The quantum EAF is designed with environmental sustainability in mind. Its efficient use of energy and innovative features, such as the furnace advanced slag free tapping system, fast, siphon design, contribute to reduced energy consumption and minimized environmental impact. Arcelor Middle's hot strip mill in Krakow, Poland, is a state of the art facility known for its impressive scale and technological advancements. This facility is capable of producing a staggering amount of steel, contributing significantly to the global steel production industry. Some specific numbers associated with ArcelorMittal's hot strip mill in Krakow include Production capacity The Krakow hot strip mill is designed to produce up to 4.5 million tons of hot rolled steel strips per year. This substantial capacity makes it one of the largest and most productive mills in Europe. Equipment weight the heart of the mill features two massive Steins rolling stands, each weighing a staggering 200 tons. These rolling stands are essential for shaping the steel into its final form. Cooling system. The facility employs advanced cooling systems to control the temperature of hot rolled steel. These systems are crucial for ensuring product quality. Innovative technologies such as the ANCO panel isolation tunnel are used to prevent rapid cooling and temperature fluctuations. Water treatment. To maintain the quality of cooling water, the mill has its own water purification plant. This helps ensure that water used in the production process is environmentally compliant. Quick switch headers. The hot strip mill features quick switch headers with the unique ability to switch on and off in less than one second. These headers provide precise control over the cooling process, enabling the production of a wide range of steel types, including complex phase steels. Timeline. The hot strip mill project was completed efficiently, with the facility producing its first strip just 23 months after the contract was signed, a month ahead of the contracted completion date. This demonstrates the effectiveness of the project management and execution. Quality control. Advanced monitoring systems and automation are integral to the mill's operation. These systems ensure strict quality control throughout the rolling process, resulting in high-quality steel products. The Technikuro's Multitasker is a remarkable piece of railway equipment that has gained widespread recognition and utility across various railway construction and rescue operations. The Multitasker represents a significant advancement in railway crane technology and its reputation has spread to neighboring countries, sparking interest and adoption. Uzbekistan's state-owned railway company, Uzbekistan Tamir Yalari, UTY, made a noteworthy decision to incorporate the KRC-1200 from Kuro into its fleet. This choice was particularly significant as it marked the first introduction of a new railway crane since 1990. Uzbekistan's challenging railway terrain, including a 19-kilometer-long tunnel, demanded a crane that could meet several critical requirements. The KRC-1200, a part of the multitasker series, emerged as the perfect solution. With the ability to lift an impressive 150 tons at a radius of 7 meters and the capability to slew sideways by up to 30 degrees with the conical counterweight retracted, this crane showcased its exceptional operational qualities. Even during transport by train, the KRC-1200 retained its counterweight, enabling it to be swiftly deployed at the scene of an accident. The crane's agility and rapid rigging time, clocking in at just 2 minutes, set a new standard for rescue operations outpacing the older EDK models, which required at least an hour for the same task.
The multitasker's growing reputation as a versatile and efficient railway crane has led to international recognition. Railway workers from Eastern European countries with a track gauge of 1,520 mm were invited to a customer day, where they had the opportunity to exchange insights and learn about this state-of-the-art machinery. The crane's influence has extended beyond Uzbekistan, as other railway companies have expressed their intentions to modernize their crane fleets. Additionally, the multitasker's ability to be deployed without extensive support systems, thanks to its hydraulic extensions, further underscores its adaptability and efficiency in various railway applications. This versatility is a crucial factor in its success, making it an essential tool for both construction and rescue operations.